But okay, folks. Uh, even though we did not get Ching Ni, we still have other things to do in today's stream, which is, yep, doing the main story. Yep, right there. And I believe, yeah, that over there is uh, where we start up Jane Doe's story and everything. But okay, let's begin with uh, Jane Doe's story here. Welcome home, Belle. I just got a DM from the Neps. I was wanting to talk to you about it. They want to take our citizen papers as soon as possible to the nearest precinct to update our business assets cert certificate for the video store. Well, what do you think about us heading over and taking care of it today? And yep, let's go. Great minds think alike. Let's begin There's this. I'm excited. Public security reminding us to update the digital version of our business license ASAP. <laughs> Bell, you didn't just toss that message into the spam folder, did you? What? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was just getting ready to go now. You coming? The nearest place is Lumina Square Precinct. If we leave now, we should make it before they close. Up, oh, new area unlocked. Public security Lumina branch accessible by car public transport. Oh, that's a new area. Oh, sweet. We actually get to go to the pop sec branch. Let's go. Taking ourselves to, to the police. Man, what if they find out we're uh, Faith in right here? <laughs> That'd be a very, very uh, awkward situation. Damn, look at this place. I mean, it looks like any other building, really. I wonder if I can, like, maybe find Jane Doe or Chingy just hanging about here. Like, maybe at later points of the story. Ooh, the music here as well. It's also pretty chill. All right, I'm liking this place already. Okay. Uh, hello, welcome to the Public Security's Lumina branch. Don't forget to uh, take a number and line up. That said, I don't think there's anyone else lined up except for you. Good citizen, how may I help you? Uh, tell her about your business credential issue. Hmm? So you're a shopkeeper and you're here to update your business credentials, are you? I see. Please show me your citizen verification profile and I can take a look at that for you. After receiving the profile, the young female officer begins to wield the computer terminal with certain flair. Got it. Near Redo, Janus Quarter, and 6th Street neighborhood. A comprehensive video rental and retail service store going by the name Random Play. Yep, that's the one. Stop by anytime, we'll give you a discount. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're not kidding, are you? Okay, let's get down to business. Here's a new declaration for you. Just fill this out, answer a few questions about your business credentials, and that's it. I'll ask you if any questions. Should we get straight into it? Ask about the tense atmosphere within public security. Okay, sure. Hmm? You mean all these heavily armed uh, public security officers? Don't worry, they're just carrying out routine work. Ah, but there's one slight issue. Their work involves sending more bu bureaucratic uh, personnel over, meaning your business credentials might take a couple of extra days to update. Alright, let's go. I won't take any of up. Uh, I'm already having a stroke at the beginning of the stream. Let's go. I won't take up any more of your time. Let's get started. Yeah. Hey, there's a girl. <laughs> Special episode, Undercover R&B. Meanwhile, <laughs> on the other side of the security. There's a new report out. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, please continue, Captain Zhu Yuan. Yes, sir. The target of our operation is the Mountain Lions. Uh -huh. A militant group that believes in brutality and is known for its involvement in violent crimes. And <laughs> there's a girl Jane over there. Also, let me go back. There's a new <clears throat> is that? <laughs> Excuse me. No, wait, no, no, that's not Seth, is it? No, no, Seth isn't a full furry. He's only like slightly furry. Please continue, Captain Zhu Yuan. <laughs> yes, sir. The target of our operation, their leader, Razor, has pulled together a fierce crew oh, using his strength okay. and wit. One of the new faces we should keep a close eye on is Jane. She's somebody... played a key role hmm. in several criminal activities recently, rapidly rising through the ranks and the gang. Huh, I was under the impression Jane was the leader of the Mountain Lions. I guess not. Hmm. But <laughs> judging by the fact that the, the title of the of the quest is called Undercover, I'm guessing Jane is also part of PubSec, maybe? Just an undercover agent? Hmm. Razor, what are you doing here, buddy? Yeah, Razor, what have you done? Why are you here in ZZZ now? <laughs> These are the targets for this combat operation. We're planning to send a small elite squad for a surgical strike against their core forces, with the goal of crippling the Mountain Lion Gang. Captain, I have a question. Oh, there's our boy. Go ahead. The Mountain Lions are strong because of their armed members, but even if they're dauntless criminals, at the end of the day, they're essentially just a bunch of bandits. 
Surely they can't outgun public security, right? Hmm. Instead of just targeting their core forces, why not go a Damn, step further and take down though. their headquarters altogether? <laughs> well, because... We can't. At least not yet. Why not? You are correct, Officer Seth. They can call themselves the Mountain Lions, but in the eyes of the law, they're just alley cats with a bit more fluff. Nothing more. And certainly nothing to fear. Hmm. The thing is, they're slippery. Slippery? That's right. These crooks managed to get away after every crime by entering a hollow and disappearing without a trace. Huh. A precinct has carried yeah, out just several like us. <laughs> thorough raids, including systematic sweeps of the hollows they frequent. It's a real shame we couldn't find anything. Unless... Unless... The report brings good news, Officer Ching Yi. What? Oh? Let me think. The report indicated that our intel officers managed to detain a member of the Mountain Lion Gang at an old construction site in a hollow. Oh? Now would be an ideal chance for a surprise strike. Wait, is this related to... I see. Our precinct has invested Bellbock... significant time the and incident? resources in preparing the for this one. operation. Hmm. Captain Julian. Or maybe it's not related at all. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Yes, sir. <laughs> I do. You'll be leading this operation. Remember... We cannot afford any failures. Oh boy, this guy has a fucking anime <laughs> glasses shine effect. <laughs> yeah, what what are those LED fucking glasses, my guy? They should be shining that brightly in a dark room like this. <laughs> is that clear? Crystal clear, sir. Also, why is he shaking? Code name: <laughs> Operation Hooked. Let's prepare for combat. Operation Hooked. Oh, do I get to try out um Seth here actually? Because I kind of want to uh, as well. <laughs> Slippery like a damn rat. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Whoa, okay, right into it already. Holy shit. Save the trouble and surrender. Die. Set, attack formation. Out of my way. Yo, that's a massive fucking shield he has. <laughs> oh yeah, get their ass. <laughs> cool. Oh, well, I just played Chingy, so yeah, that should be fine find by me. Oh, yes, I get to play Seth, too. I got Burr. The and any day now? Oh, my God. How long can I do this for? Good Lord, you can go forever with, that, with Chingy's freaking skill there. Also, yeah, I want to try my boy Seth here. Boom. I, I, I mean to keep trying Seth. You wanted his combos, because we don't have him yet. Oh, shield slam, okay. That attack is just him fucking charging the shield. Nice, okay. Right, okay, I shouldn't be experimenting this much, but I, I want to see how Seth plays. Why are we stopping on the second floor? Looks like we need a key card to access the third floor. Let's find it. Damn. Uh, okay. Oh! Okay, what's- Okay, here we go. Tutorial. When Seth has enough energy, press a special attack to activate X special attack, Thunder Rush Shield, high voltage, and have him execute a ser- a, a serious- A serious of slashes? Is it- Okay, that's a translation issue, probably. It's probably like a series of slashes ahead. Doing massive electric damage while accumulating resolve and gaining a shield of firm resolve, hold um, the button to charge it, increasing its power. Okay. When resolve... Okay, sure. He also has a resolve mechanic. It's greater than uh, 75%. Hold basic attack to consume resolve and activate basic attack lightning strike electrified. Oh, uh, okay. When Seth hits an enemy with a finishing move from this basic attack lightning strike, or with an assist follow-up, pub security uh, ruling, it will assist, uh, it will trigger quick assist for the previous squad member and provide a shield of firm resolve for that squad member. Okay. A squad member with a shield of firm resolve have their anomaly proficiency increase. Okay. Look at the heaps of stuff over there. They really can stop oh, I can break these down, high. sweet. Just some makeshift barricades. Oh, it's I can charge this up. Stuff. Boom. Breaking stuff is my specialty. Dude, he, he wields that freaking shield like... Like he's like fucking cloud. 
Oh, yeah, I'm liking this combo. Okay, and then I can hold. Boom! Nice! Sweet! Oh, yeah, I'm liking, the, I'm liking his play saw already. Charge! Boom! Turn over! A new leaf! Oh yeah, I want to see his burst too. Let me see his burst. Prepare to face judgment. Face judgment. Yeah, he's wielding the shield like on his pole and swinging it like a great sword, like like cloud strife. Holy shit! All right, charge attack as well. Boom! Charge! Charge! Bam! Stop resisting. You're headed behind bars. You're going to jail, motherfucker. Taking the shot. Oh, you can make quick assist after. Okay, gotcha. Captain, we didn't find the key card on them. Damn. Having come this far, the key card must be around here somewhere. The key card must be in one of these boxes. <laughs> Julian, I swear, this is for <laughs> this is not <laughs> this is for finding the key card, not because I want to destroy them. For the satisfaction of destroying them. Ah, oh, God, bombs. What do we have here? Perfect. Let's defeat it and grab the data. Okay, so that's a hold version, and there's also a uh, a tap version. Gotcha. Boom. Under arrest. Jock him. Hands up. Sustain fire. Yeah, I can't believe it's Naziz that voices Seth still. From Al Haytham to him, Got it's it. a very drastic Download difference. Privileges now. Why most Good people work. call him the Monster Hunter? Let's take the elevator. I haven't played Monster Hunter, so I, I guess I wouldn't get that, but I I guess it's, it's kind of like Monster Hunter then. Allow me, Captain. Oh, break everything. The key card must be around. Oh, wait, no, we found a key card already. Never mind. <laughs> also, what's this? Oh, I guess just free healing. All right, keep going. Let's put these guys away. Hey! Captain, we got more gang members here. Charge! Boom! Bam! Go! My God, she has such a large range of attack. It's insane. Charge! Charge it! Bam! Yeah. Watch out for an ambush. Ready for the big showdown? Damn, oh, showdown already? Okay. Oh wait, are we gonna fight Jane here? Because I'm aware of you know the Jane boss fight. Oh, is this it? Understood. Let's see. Oh damn, just us three. Okay. Thought there'd be more. Contact. Two o'clock. Up there. Yep. <laughs> So she's the target we're after. Oh man. We'll bring you to justice. <laughs> oh really? We'll see about that. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna simp. Oh, okay. Right, sure. We're just into the fight just like that. Okay. Oh, I can throw her in the air and everything. <laughs> Hang on, let me kill the minions first. I uh ah! I'll fight you in a bit here, Jane. What? Did she just parry me? Ow, ow, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Joe, 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 Jane, Jane, Jane. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kill your comrades here, not you. Oh my god, I'm kind of juggling Jane right now. Hang on, I, I want to see her, uh, her combat moves. What's that? What? Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Okay, I, I kind of want to see her moveset, honestly. Ah, okay. Shit. Oh, need a bandage. Whoa, okay, her attacks are insane. Holy shit. Boom. Oh yeah, bang boo go. Okay, I'm at half HP already. I don't wanna like try and <laughs> like one shot at everything. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 Jane, 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 Jane. Jane, what are you doing? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Her moveset is fucking bananas. She is so quick. Holy shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, now. Oh my god, the way she's seen walking towards us as well. Holy shit. How? Oh my god, <laughs> look at that walk. <laughs> she fucking knows she's hot. Oh, what? I didn't carry that one? How? Jane, when I said step on me, this is not what I meant. Alright, time to go down. Boom. Stop resisting. Please don't go down. That didn't count. Whoa, okay. Fire and glow. Man, I think I can't believe we just got to the Jane fight just like that. We need to get out of here now. You're not going anywhere. What are you looking at? Oh shit. <laughs> You know, I should be rooting for Seth right now, but I kind of root for Jane. My god, look at her. Hey, you really the best the mountain lion's got? Why do you keep scurrying away like some rat? Where's your honor? <laughs> uh, funny you say that. Ooh, she has shoe blades. What? Hey! Your fighting style is way too boring. All you do is come at me. It's seriously putting me to sleep. Oh, come on. Listen up, you scumbag. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you fair and square. Seth is fun to play. I don't believe in resorting to cheap tricks. <laughs> Oh, really? That's too bad. Oh Cheap my god, these expressions. Good at. I told you not to wander off. Look at us now. We're completely what? lost. Oh no, hostages? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Smoke bomb. I smell etheric matter. Be careful. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Okay, that's not good. These people are only gonna slow us down. Hubsec is on our tail. Don't make things difficult. Let's bail. Hold it! Who's there? Stay back! Let them go! They're not a part of this! Let them go, huh? Sure. If you take their place! Deal. W just you like that? Agreed? <laughs> Damn, Seth. The ball's on this man. <laughs> <laughs> See? Told you it'd work! You know, it's smoke's gonna clear eventually, Stay right? Like. And keep alert. Ah, fuck, they got away. Right. Damn. We found three civilians. They're all safe. The mountain lions are gone. They are slippery, just like Officer Byron said. Hold on. Where's Seth? Damn, that was a very well animated cutscene. Holy shit. I, I, I fucking love Jane, those expressions, I gotta say. <laughs> it's not me simping, I, I'm just praising the animation. <laughs> Holy shit. This makes me think if PvP will work. I'm not sure if it will. <laughs> I hope it doesn't become PvP. <laughs> hmm. Oh, several hours later, inside the meeting room at the Lumina Square Precinct of Public Security. Yes, we apprehended all the gang members at the scene, except for Jane. Hmm. However, two citizens and Officer Seth have gone missing. There are reports that they were captured by the gang. Uh, understood. Our team is ready and awaiting further orders. <sighs> so, what's the plan? What happens to us now that we failed the operation? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we get fired. In the end. <laughs> She has that voice that Laura Post does. Makes me want to copy her voice. Yeah, who is the Jane Doe's voice actor? I, I don't think it's someone I recognize. Hmm. Although she does have a pretty good job so far. I've only heard like five so lines. This must be it then. I'll box up my desk and return my gear. Uh. Oh, is it okay if I take my welcome mug? Huh? Uh, hold on, Jingyi. It's not like that. We haven't failed yet. Poor Julian, you're in <laughs> denial that you failed. The core gang members, including Jane, they all got away, remember? The operation was a flop. But hey, you tried your best. <laughs> we can't just give me. up just like that. I, I'm fine. The operation wasn't a flop. I, I mean, not a total flop. We were at least half successful. Half successful. <laughs> uh, I guess 
I should have filled you in right after the operation ended. You know how the mountain lions are really good at hiding, right? We can't root them out because they always manage to slip away in the hollows, making it hard for us to pin down their HQ. Mm -hmm. Right. They call themselves lions, but all they do is scamper around like rodents. From the looks of it, I think we should send them a rat to be their leader. Y right! That's exactly it, Chingyi! You've got it all figured out! Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might not have it all figured out, but I'll gladly take the compliments. Uh, well, actually, the rat idea you just mentioned, that was our plan all along. Really? Maybe we should send them a rat to be their leader. She then picks up an ID card from the table and hands it to Chingyi. Oh, was the plan to get Seth in there in the first place? Oh, right, no, 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 my Jane Doe is our rat. Okay. A hard plastic ID card authorized by public security has an ID photo of Jane when she was an external staff consultant of criminal psycholog psychology. Damn, Jane in glasses looks fine as hell. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> simping. Gotta get back. Jane Doe. Contracted consultant for criminal behavior at public ah, security. Well, there we go. What? She's one of us? That's right. Jane's been working with us, and she's our inside agent for this operation. She's the rat we sent in. The real bait. The real purpose behind the whole operation was to put on a show, allowing Jane to gain enough trust to infiltrate the mountain lion's top ranks and learn the secrets of their HQ. Hmm. That's a bold move. So in that sense, our operation was a success. And Seth, I thought he was too straightforward to play such cunning tricks. He really fooled me. I thought uh, um, I captured him. <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> huh? Not funny? What's with that look on your face? Uh, I'm guessing Seth being captured wasn't part of the plan. I don't think he even... He's even aware that Jane is a rat. <laughs> Remember when I said the operation was only half a success? <laughs> yeah. Well, Seth, he's that other half. Damn it. He and the civilians who were caught up in this, they were really captured by the mountain lions. Fuck. Meanwhile, inside the Valley Twins, uh, the Valley Twins Hollow. Uh, well, damn, Seth, you done fucked up. <gasps> I can only open up if you get the secret knock right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have all day. Is this your first day on the job or something? Huh? So, we're in Ballet Twins Hollow. Also, I love this, by the way. That's right. Hang on. I don't have all day. Is this your first day on the job or something? This little detail. Huh? You know how she's like holding her hands like that? Kind of like a mouse does or a rat does? Yeah, that's intentional, it seems. <laughs> because, you know, she is a, a, a mouse theorin. So, we're in Ballet Twins Hollow? That's right. First time here, Jane. Makes sense. This <laughs> transfer station is one of the closest to our base, the Lion's Den. By the rules, we're not supposed to come here without the boss's approval. Y yeah! You! You need the boss's approval to be here! <laughs> Oh, yeah. You still want to talk about this? Who do you think you are around here? Maybe I should be asking you that question. Oh, fuck. Razor? Huh? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, massive man! That's... Razor, the mountain lion himself. I made those rules. Whoa! About the transfer station, the secret knock, all of them. Hello, Senator Armstrong. The rules are made to be followed. So why did you break them? Oh, sir, I... Uh, we... We were ambushed by Pubsack. They were fast and precise. It all happened suddenly. <laughs> Things got messy real quick. She's just putting on makeup. <laughs> if we hadn't pulled out fast, some of us would have gotten busted. Oh. Yeah, yeah boss. We even snagged an officer as a bonus. <laughs> Look. Did you pull this off? Um, it, it was Jane. No, fuck off. Don't blame her. <laughs> boss. 
Jane came through for us again today. She stalled the officers with a smoke bomb, and we were able to get out of there safely. You bunch of despicable thugs! You have no honor! <laughs> okay, okay, calm down, Seth. Holy shit. Whoa! Oh, God! Yo, Jane, there's no need to do that. Oh, my God. It wasn't much of a fight. This idiot tried to play hero for some civilians. Like a mouse walking into a trap. Damn, all these freaking mouse metaphors. Come on. How many more of them are there going to be? Good we have work, a counter. Jane. When the time's right, we'll see if there's a spot for you as a trusted bodyguard. Whoa. Uh <laughs> Listen up. Those public security clowns are still after us. I'm going to go find out what they're up to. Lay low here for now. I'll arrange to get you back to the den safely in groups. You got that? Crystal clear, sir! Long live the Oh man, that Jane face. Oh! Oh right, we get to play as Jane from here on out, right? Yeah, from what I've heard, I think the um... The proxies are not involved in this story at all. Like, you don't play as Bell or Wise, you play as Jane the whole time. Cool! Uh, whew! Find me to this, uh, rumored secret transfer station. This long... This long time that Nets spent planning wasn't all for nothing. They even managed to trick their own people into believing it was real. The only variable left accounted for is... That officer, Seth. Isn't he new to their criminal investigation team? Does he even know all the ins and outs of their decoy plan? Why were they brought here, though? Have they changed uh, to a new protocol at the precinct? Just to be safe, let's engage him before we take another step further. Oh yeah, we got the plans here. Pause special episode. Oh yeah, you can leave if you want to, but you know, why would I? Oh, then you can continue once you, yeah, do that. Oh, sorry, what? Oh, right, I'm, sure I'm streaming. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just got distracted for a second there. Um, hang on. Let me see this again. Oh my god, it has jiggle physics. It has freaking jiggle physics. <laughs> Hoyle, you've outdone yourself with the horniness at this point. Holy shit. That tail do be bouncing. Okay. <laughs> but damn, look at this place, though. This is where you're hiding out? I think the club's like should have caught you guys by now. Damn, how big is this place? We, we got Batty Boo here as well. Damn, I, I didn't even realize this Bang Boo were, were criminals too. Damn. Space? What? What? I'm just checking out the, uh, you know, testing out the gameplay and whatnot. Make sure everything works fine, you know? Just, yeah, just making sure everything, the. Uh, all the physics are working fine and whatnot, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not get too distracted here. <laughs> God, I, I remember when, like, my Twitter page was just full of this. For, like, the entirety of it. It's just everybody, like, <laughs> just fucking just simping over Jane for this exact reason. Uh, goddamn. Oh, yeah, right. Next update, we should be able to walk around as, like, all the characters, so... Hey, I'm gonna be pulling for Jane 100%. Also gotta love she, al she always has this uh, mouse pose at all times. Even when she's just like kind of resting. Ooh, the music here as well is kind of... kind of vibing, not gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> let's, not, let's not delay things any further. Let's uh, talk to our voice set. Hey, dumbass! How come I can't break out of these? They're just simple restraint cuffs. Don't waste your energy. I oh, intend to deal with muscle relaxants on the way over. You're lucky that you're even able to stand. Muscle relaxants? No wonder I feel so weak now. You'd sink so low as to use prohibited substances on innocent civilians? Also, I gotta say, Seth is fucking jacked. Look at that. Look at them muscles. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, Genshin, please do the same for Ito. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've never done this to anybody else. Only you got the special treatment. What? Damn it! You dirty, sneaky rats! 
It might be dirty to do this to ordinary people, but for <laughs> someone who calls cuffs simple, it's a precaution. You? You obviously have the wits to match your skill. Why not keep on the straight and narrow? Why join a gang <laughs> of violent thugs? Because I'm undercover, dumbass. <laughs> oh, you sound like you must know me pretty well. Of course I know you. I've read your entire dossier. Jane Doe, a new talent recruited by the Mountain Lions. You've rapidly risen through the ranks thanks to your sharp skills and quick mind. Now you're already a core member of the gang's bodyguards. Oh, and what's your point? At face value, most would think you're just another typical thug. Cunning, ruthless, deplorable, and cruel. But I can tell you're much more than that. <laughs> and you know you must still have some virtues. Am I right? <laughs> you're asking me? Let's assume that you do. Because I believe you do. I believe and in the youth that believes the in me. The mountain lion gang, <laughs> you still have some goodness left in your heart. Yeah, if you told me this was Alhathan's VA talking right here, I would not believe you. <laughs> Unless, like, Hoyo officially confirmed it, and which he did. But I still can't believe Alhatham. Yeah, this is Naziz. <laughs> you do, right? <sighs> what I'm saying is, you still have a choice, Jane. You can turn over a new leaf. Oh, look at the look at the boy being all happy, <laughs> trying to make her redeem her ways, even though she's already a good guy. <laughs> it's not too late. If you cooperate with me, you have my word that public security will give you a fair trial. They'll go easy on you if you change and help me. How's that sound? You're Seth, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's my name. So what about the deal I mentioned? Hey, you sitting there. The little lady. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh. What are you trying to hide there? Uh, I, I don't have anything. Make no mistake. The only hostage worth anything here is the officer. Nobody's gonna cry if you end up missing an arm or a leg. Tell me, what are you hiding? Uh. Whoa. Hang on a minute, Chain. No need to get so worked up. They say it's the eyeballs of hollow victims that the rats go for first. And you've got beautiful eyes there. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure they'll love the taste. Jesus Christ. I, I don't have anything, really. This is the last time I'll ask. What are you hiding? Water. It's drinking water. We kept some from the trip over here. I told them to hide it. If there's a problem with that, then take it up with me. The trembling hostage reveals a small bottle from behind her. An eerie silence fills the makeshift jail. Officer Seth, you have an excellent aptitude oh God. for ether <laughs> and outstanding fitness. Plus, you have many other virtues like honesty, kindness, and determination. Th this post right here. Uh, yeah, where's my wallet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, just kidding, obviously, because her battle's not even out yet, but fuck it. <laughs> if it comes down to it, I, I'll whip out my wallet for Jane. Uh. What are you trying to say? That you know me? No, I don't know you at all. But you're easy to read, and you've got all the stuff that bad guys love. Yep. Honesty, so you're a terrible liar. Kind-heartedness, so you're easily manipulated. And determination, so you never give in. Also, does her little thing over here say stab? <laughs> I'm trying to take a close look at that. Also, this says rover. <laughs> Wuthering ways reference? Yo! I don't see any hope of us working together. Therefore, I strongly suggest that you be a good little hostage and don't try anything funny. After all... I am the only one here with some kindness left in my heart, right? You know, I mentioned Wuthering Ways. She's is kind of like Yinlin, huh? Like a secret agent. Also, yeah, she's just kind of like Kafka in some aspects as well, <laughs> with her voice and everything. Ugh, you? Hmm. Hey, where's the guard? Come here. Uh, yes, Jane. D did you call me? <laughs> Keep a close eye on them and make sure they're treated according to the rules. Also, 
Make sure you give our cop friend here three times as much water. And don't let the others drink anything until the cop finishes all his water first. What? You like water, don't you? <laughs> well, I'll make sure you drink enough of it then. <laughs> I almost thought she was going to say, oh, you're a thirsty boy, aren't you? <laughs> if, if she said that, millions of people will cry in hoardiness. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> So this cocky young kid got pulled over and over his head. And it's far too honest for my liking. If I take a risk and tell him about the decoy play, we might risk losing everything and if he lets the cat out the bag. Unexpected trouble. I hope this little intimidation can keep him alert and discreet. Whatever happens, I need to figure out the best way there first. My the ultimate goal for investigating the mountain lion's lair won't change. Let's pass to the low-level henchman at the transfer station for some info. Yeah, um, if you saw, uh, yeah, uh, Jaucho's, like, character demo, not, well, not character demo, but her, uh, his, um, yeah, Jaucho's, uh, what do you call that? Keeping up a star reel, like, demo thing is, uh, now on the YouTube channel. And then, yeah, there's the new Mose's, uh, voice actor. And it sounds a lot like Kabe CA. I don't think they've officially confirmed yet. Or did they? Actually, did they? I'm gonna check, actually. I think they've replaced Mose's VA with Kaveh's V. It, well, it sounds like Kaveh's VA, but I'm not sure if it actually is. Okay, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I think it is. Yep, I, it is, it is. Okay, uh, I, I'm sorry to interrupt ZZZ, but yes, it is confirmed. Uh, yep, look, right freaking there. Mose is uh, now Ben Balmacita, who is Kaveh's VA. So yep, Ben is now Kaveh. <laughs> not, not Ben, Mose is now Kaveh as well. No. <laughs> and honestly, his voice sounds pretty good in that clip, honestly. And yeah, good on good on Kabi's VA, because I fucking love him. He he's such a funny, funny person. <laughs> I, I'm glad he's voicing Mose now. Although it would have been funnier if it's if it if it were to be Zach Aguilar. <laughs> but hey, congrats to Ben for uh, getting Mose's role. Alright. Uh back on track here. Hey. How's it looking? M Miss Jane, I'm fine. Uh my back and legs aren't stiff and corruption levels are still safe i was j getting antsy and so i dosed myself with some of the anti-corruption serum just in case i was asking about the hostages and sh and you shouldn't be wasting any serum if your corruption levels are still low uh, so sorry about that miss jane the um the, the hostages are all good i've been uh double dosing them with serum so i guess i'll stop doing that no don't stop they don't have any protective gear so they should be taking anti-corruption measures any other problems not the hostages, nah. Um, except for that one Theron officer who keeps lecturing me like some kind of preachy teacher. But it's fine. One of the higher-ups gave him a muscle relaxant so he can't break free. I control him as much as I want. I'm asking if you have any other real problems here. And if you don't, then you should quit provoking the officer. Eh? I'm sorry. It's just a higher-up uh, guards. They can always trash talk when, guard when guarding hostages. It can get nasty. Don't force yourself to do things you aren't cut out for. Uh, how long have you been doing this? Huh? I've been on duty here for at the transfer station this whole time. I only got my orders for it uh, this morning. So that's about, um, I guess, half a day or so far. I was asking about how long you've been in the Mountain Lion Gang. Never mind, I'll, I'll just leave the hostages with you then. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Cool, I'll do my best, Miss Jane. Also, the Miss Jane part, yeah, these guys totally simp for Jane. I mean, can you blame them? <laughs> okay, and what about you guys? Don't touch it. Huh? Was well, that Jane? Is your wrist sore? You probably hurt fighting the officers. Don't put any pressure on it. You could tear a muscle. No way. I was just giving it a tap. It's ow, 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 jeez. <laughs> now, do you believe me? 
I believe you. What should I do, Jane? <sighs> Unfortunately, you're done for. Unless you've got the supply manifest for this transfer station. Then I might be able to scrounge some medicine for you. Supply manifests come right up. I'll go grab that for you right now. Ouch. After easily securing the supplies manifest from the gangsters, Jane is able to estimate the scope of this transfer station based on the amount of key supplies. They suffer quite a large supply of anti-corruption serum and protective equipment, enough to support plenty of people here for a quite while. Uh, for quite a while, they even got some everyday necessities. That means this transfer station may play a far more important role than expected. Excellent. Uh, how's it looking, Jane? Any mess in there that I can use? Here, these two. There's an ointment and the other you can take orally. Rub the ointment where it hurts twice a day, morning and evening. Great, what about the oral one? Do I take it before eating? No, that one's bob just bubblegum. <laughs> it just gives you something to do so you won't scratch your wounds. Oh, oh, I get it. Thank you so much, Miss Jane. <laughs> what is she, your freaking mom? <laughs> what the hell? I thought she was a new member. <laughs> yeah, I, I did I check the credits for Moses, uh, not Moses, um, Jouchers, uh, Keeping on Star Rail video. And yeah, it was, Mose was credited as Ben. Also, this music though. Or. <laughs> also, the gunshots too. ZZZ's music is just insane. Also, I gotta say, the ripped thighs, peak design. <laughs> just saying. Alright, smart underling. Congratulations to me. What for? Well, congratulations on your promotion, of course. Didn't the boss's man Razor himself say he wanted to talk to you as his personal bodyguard? Guess you really are the best. It's too early for any congratulations right now. He also said in due course. Hey, that's just a formality. It's just a matter of time, a, a matter of when, not if. <laughs> I knew you weren't just some. Um, uh, what's the word for it? Average James. I think you mean average Joe. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the one. Once you're a bodyguard, these transfer stations are gonna fall under your control, and they can help us all, little guys. Out just a smidgen, right? <laughs> How sweet of you, but. If the bodyguards run this transfer station, who leads the retreat from here to the lines then? Is that their job too? Uh, I don't know about any of that top secret stuff, but every time we retreat the lines then, it's always the big boss or his bodyguards who leads us through the hollow. I've been through this transfer station tons of times now. I see. Alright. You should rest for now. Mommy Jane? <laughs> Honestly, I would not blame these guys if they called her Mommy Jane. <laughs> uh, Jane walks over to a quiet corner and starts pondering the next steps of inner plan. Okay, time to sort things out. There's too much going on. I gotta take things one step at a time. I'm about supplies, okay. From the supplies manifest, you're able to tell that this transfer station has abundant supplies and a full complement of personnel. In other words, this should be one of the core hiding places for the Mountain Lions. The transfer station. Based on what some of these gangsters said, they have to follow up a cons... I'm not sure how to say that word. Consigliary? If they want to evacuate from the hollow or go to the lion's den. That makes it highly likely that this transfer station is the only way to get through to the lion's den. And about the hostages. The guards watching over the hostages seem like jittery newbies. Should be a piece of cake to scare them or trick them. Hmm. Does seem like it'll be hard to bust through these guards and rescue the hostages. Whew, that's that. Time to reward myself with an energy bar. At least don't seem at least things don't seem too bad right now. The biggest wild card here is not knowing when Razor is about to show up again. We better find some more clues about the lion's den before he gets back, just to be safe and get the hostages out of here as soon as possible. Let's explore the area around the transfer station first. Since this is the route, there's got to be some useful clues nearby. Oh, the G slightly. Oh, conglomerate. Okay. Got it, got it. Oh, okay, we got to talk to Baddie Boo right here. Yo, look look at me. I'm, a, I'm an evil person. <laughs> Thanks for all your hard... 
ward work. Um, all, all, all your ward work. Uh, anything going on around the exit? It's Jane. Just doing my job, ma'am. Everything is ship shape at the entrance and exit. Very good. Is this your bangboo? Does it have a carrot? Uh, nope. It belongs to the transfer station, and it records carrot data around the perimeter. The big boss just updated before he left. Excellent. I'll leave it to your patrols, then. Huh? Patrols? What patrols? We lost people at the transfer station, plus hostages, too. We need to ensure it's safe here, which requires dispatchment patrols as needed to drive off nearby ethereals. Uh, do, do I... Do I gotta take out ethereals now? Do I have to do it on my own? What? You don't want to go? Not into obeying the boss's orders? Watch your mouth. Why would I ever want to disobey an order from the boss? I'm just... You know, right? It's just... You know. I mean, it's not that I don't want to go. It's just... Look, look at me, you know? I just... You know? <laughs> alright, alright. That's enough already. Give me the supplies for two people and I go on patrol myself. <sighs> For real? That's amazing, Miss Jane. I knew you were strong and kind. I promise I'll pay. I'll, I'll pack only the best rations and medicine for you. Great. Now we have all the supplies we need to make our escape. So, Miss Jane, what are you thinking of heading out? Uh, right now. Give me that bang, boo. I head out right now, and don't forget those supplies I mentioned. Cool. I'll pull together those supplies then right away. Don't worry. Nobody will find out. Oh, do I get to try Jane here? That bang was incredibly cute. It is with the jacket and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I do get to play Jane. Like two weeks early before she actually comes out. Jane is an extra dodge. What? She can dodge twice. Yo. Okay. Before she enters a passion state, she alternates between two dodges. After entering the passion state, Jane can pass through enemies in front. When dodging, each dodge has its own dash attack and dodge counter. When Jane triggers perfect dodge, defensive assist, or a skill that deals damage to an enemy, she accumulates passion stream. When it reaches its limit, Jane enters a passion state. While under this state, Jane's physical anomaly build-up rate and attack will increase and her dash attacks and dodge counters will be enhanced. Yo? Oh wait, so you, so you gain... Okay, when perfect dodging or defense assisting. Jane deals damage while under the passion state. Uh, it will consume passion stream. Triggering perfect dodge or defensive assist will restore passive stream. A pa uh, when passion stream is depleted, she will leave the passion state. Upon entering the passion status, Jane obtains one basic attack, Sao Chao Jump activation. While there are activations available, hold the basic attack button to activate basic attack uh, Sao Chao Jump. Keep holding to extend the skill duration, basic attacks shallow jumps recover passion stream when dealing damage to enemies under the passion status. That is a lot to take in. But basically, once you're in passion state, hold the button. Okay. Yo! We actually get the player. Let's start investigating. The target's over there. Holy shit, she's quick! She's like a. Oh my god, she's like a faster Nekomata! Look at that speed! Holy shit! And she can dodge twice? Oh. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wait, she can dodge like three times? Oh, no, no, only twice before the cooldown, like, goes off. But, dude, look at her. Fucking weaving and bobbing. <laughs> Just quick slide to the left and right. But, yeah, she can basically, like, do three quick dodges in succession. That is sick. Oh, yeah. Open the door. System processing. Please present member uh, permissions level 3 or above to access. Great, they're even putting the building security systems to use. We need an access card to do anything. Let's search some other areas. Oh, where do you guys come from? Ow. Okay, I need a perfect dodge to like trigger her passion status. Alright, come on, attack me. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's her passion bar there. Ooh. Watch your blind spots. Oh my god, she has fucking after images. Cool. Get him, Matty Boo. Oh my god, she can fucking spin as well. Oh, her playstyle is sick. Oh, give me that energy. Oh no, that's healing. 
Uh, okay, I can't get through there. No, Jane, jump between the lasers. I mean, she can crawl underneath that. That looks crawlable. A high-powered security laser grid. I'm not going to rush things. Let's go around. <clears throat> this crate appears to be pretty new. Must be gang stuff. So wait. Okay, I think I need to do the whole attack when enemies are actually nearby. There are security doors everywhere. Uh. Maybe they lead to something useful. Oh. Oh, I can't open the... Ow! Okay. <laughs> Reminder, don't walk into lasers. That's probably not a good idea. Oh, God damn it. So, wait. Do I need to... Oh, wait. I need to deplete her passion stay. But did you see how she, like, did a spin attack there? Holy shit. I want to do that again. Oh, there's a card. An unbound security card. What luck. Let's give it a try. Is a tear glowing indicating something? Oh, does a tear glow? Oh, that probably indicates when her passion state's active. M maybe. The rip stockings are really teasing me, damn. <laughs> you know, honestly, same. You know, I'm gonna have to try and figure out a way to play her with one hand. Uh, deactivate the laser security system. The security model has been shut down. An increase in ether activity and a rising frequency of spatial fissures detected. Please proceed with caution. Great. Open it. Let's keep going. I can already see it now. The hardest thing for Jane players to, to, to do is to play with one hand. Look at her, she fucking dodging and weaving. Also, what her skill do? Spin! Oh my god. That spin attack is fucking everything. Oh, but it seems like it only activates on like the finisher attack. Oh my god, though, she is quick. She's like a very much. She, yeah, she seems like an upgraded Nekamata. Also, yeah, her tear glowing does indicate, like, I guess, a passion state. Uh, deactivate the lasers. Let's keep going. Yeah. Okay, and your passion state doesn't deplete while you're doing nothing. I guess only. Is that a control Whoa. terminal? It could have intel, so it's worth checking. It's never easy, is it? Okay, a little maze here. I'm good at mazes, don't worry. Yep. Just that easy. Alright, CC in slip mode. Uh, level 3 activated. Access granted. Permission management? That's fantastic. We should be able to upgrade the access level of this card. Oh, yep, sure. Overriding permission info. Key player permissions, level 2 granted. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, her, her playstyle is so, so fun. Yeah, dude, imagine a team with her, Nekomata, and Piper. That seems like... <laughs> that seems, seems like fun as hell. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, got a lot of Eats of Crystals here. This will take us to the other side of that blocked off area. Oh my god, I kinda... I just insta-killed that guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Any more? Oh, yep. Doggy man here. Perfect dodge. Whoa. Oh yeah, what's her burst like? Spin! Oops, sorry. Get him! Here's a taste of the abyss. Whoa, that fucking range though. No escape. Boom! This will be painless. I I am pulling Let's for this woman going. 100%. Holy shit, is she fun to play. Oh my god. That is actually insane. Oh, not a console. Access granted, close the door. The NF1 reinforced door has been closed. An increase in ether activity. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Great, we made it around. Let's get investigating. Let's. Oh, even, okay, even our dodges have after images when in the passion state. That is cool. Oh, okay, finally at this console. System two. Valid key player. Level two, clean state detected. No more. Access. Blah, 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 blah. Another permission management system, but the interface basically crash. Looks like it's been corrupted from the inside out. <laughs> the access panel is still here. I can fiddle with the access card's level. So lucky. Oh, set it to the highest level. Level one. 
Overrunning, blah, 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 blah. Crowd guard permission, blah, 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 level five. Let's keep going. Nice. <laughs> Any more? Yep, you guys. Oh my god, the fucking card we kills. Oh, you can recharge your package save. Okay, but you're gonna fence this. How? Okay, how, how do I do the spin attack again? I, I want to do that. The massive spin attack. Okay, maybe it's only when you, like, fully charge your passion state. Get him, Maddie Boo! Let's keep going. Let's. Uh, level 5 detected, access granted, open the door. Holy shit. Oh, man. Also, yeah, I haven't read chat in a bit. Um, <laughs> hang on, let me, let me take the second to, like, read chat for a second. The more you dodge, the more nimble you are. Okay. We lost some chat. Horny has claimed another. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm sorry, chat. As much as I do love Chingy and her uh, funniness, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to surrender to Jane Doe. She's just too much for me. <laughs> too, too many likable things about her. Okay. Great. Open it. Oh, what? Where do you come from? Ah, bombers. Okay. Man, this place is humongous. Let's find a way around it. I guess the devs hurt us when they said like we want to explore areas more and not do TVs all the time. Oh, oh god! Damn freaking suicide bombers! Get out of my! Oh, <laughs> I uh, had to mistime that. All right, open again. I found detected. Close the door. Uh, same old, same old. Hopefully, this is the last door. You and me both, Jane. Oh wait, I'm not in Patch State yet. Okay. Okay, it seems like Patch State's on a cooldown, and then. Oh wait, I think it. I think that red dot next to the bar is what indicates that I can do the, the spin attack or not. I think. Ah damn, almost there. Yep, we're gonna do boss fight. It seems like a boss fight area. Okay. That is, okay. So when the red dot next to the bar is light up, you can do the spin attack. Which I'm assuming deals some shits on the damage. Yes! Get him! Oh yes, I, I can do the spin attack again. Oh, spin the wind! Let's make this quick. How? Dodge! Get him! Spin! Get him! Come on, go down already! Yeah! How do you finish? Okay. Finally made it. Uh, yeah, I I think I'm going to be pulling for Jane Doe, guys. Uh, system processing, uh, valid crown guard permission, level five. Access denied. Huh? Access denied. Give it a try. Access denied. Access denied. Warning. Unsuccessful attempts two. Can access even the crown guard permissions level five? Well, that's a shocker. The IY36 passage security has been upgraded. And increase in ether activity, okay. You can't just force our way through, I guess that's it. Let's head back to the transfer station, it's almost time anyways. Hope there'll be some leads about the lion's den. Damn, we came so far and I now gotta go back. Man. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, Miss Jane, you're tough as nails. You can trash it, sweet talk. Have you finished packing what I asked? All done, you can relax. Should I go get it for you right now? Not right now, I'll let you know when I need it. Cool, if there's nothing else you need, is it okay if I take uh, time, if I take off to watch the show? Sh show? What show? <laughs> it's starting soon, see? Over there. As soon as he finishes talking, the whole transfer station erupts into a hubbub, as though there were a crowded pub brawl. Some of the gangsters enjoy some R&R surround. 
a couple of figures. One thin and one stocky. Oh, what? A dueling arena? <laughs> What's going on? All these people are making a stir. And who's that guard in the middle? And that one with the loud voice. What were you just talking about? Uh, I just meant today in Rising Tech hostages food like that. Are you lecturing me? Are you teaching me what to do? Or I'm not. I never do that to you. I was just follow explaining things. Um, based on the boss's orders, we gotta take care of the hostages. Food, water, and anti-corruption serum, they need it all. In the distance, a, boom, a voice booms from over the hostage cell. Yeah, he's right! Oh yeah, and some mucks are, relax mucks are relaxing for the officer. This time the voice from the hostage cell changes. No, that won't be necessary! <laughs> Fucking Seth. Are you saying that I am supposed to live like a beggar while we look after these stupid pop sack weasel? It's just we can't adjust rations for everyone in this transfer station, and uh, technically, it's a stupid... Uh, he's a stupid cat, right? Oh, you got jokes, huh? Do these guys really get wound up so easily? I haven't found anything, any clues leading to the lion's den yet, so I don't need this chaos. I need to put a stop to this fast. The crowd jeers noisily as things look more and more as though a fight is about to break out. Yeah, oh boy. These idiots. Oh, so hey, Seth. How you doing back here? Sup, bro? Oh, I can't talk to him. <laughs> Never mind. Um. Fuck. I need to wait 20 days to get <laughs> to get Jane Doe. Are you kidding me? Ah, fuck. That's gonna be in like September, and I'll be busy during September. Oh, oh well. Oh man, why could they just start off the Jane Doe banner? Oh, okay. Well, time to stop to these guys. <laughs> Be patient. Yeah, I I know, but uh, man, do I want her immediately? What's going on? What are you fighting about, Jane? Hm. This business is between us two men, not you. I'm not gonna deliver a brutal lesson to this. I'm gonna deliver a brutal lesson to this little coward about what the lion mine, the lion mount. <laughs> The Mountain Lion Gang, our rules are. Not my business? Are you lecturing me now? Teaching me what to do? The hairs on the back of the Savage and the Burly Gangster's neck rose as though he was about to take his anger out on the impudent Jane. However, in a flash. <clears throat> I'm just giving him a lecture on the rules. He's a newbie cub and, and yet here he is, terrified of an officer. That's just embarrassing for us as a gang and embarrassing for our, our big boss. What, what? I'm not terrified of that officer. I just shot it. Got it. You calm down just like that? Uh, to really teach him a lesson there. That saves me a lot of hassle. Listen up, everybody. We're not about to. We're not down some dark alley. Let me try it again. We're not some down. We're not down some dark alleyway downtown. We're not a Gray Street market. We're deep inside a domain in the damn hollows, for crying out loud. We're out here on vacation. There are ethereals stalking around outside the transfer station, and there are officers patrolling just beyond those ethereals. Big Boss Razor, he's working his butt off as he speak to get us all out of this predicament. He does not want anyone causing him any more trouble right now, for this moment. So rest up if you need to, and say if you still got the energy to cause trouble. Save it for when we deal with the officers, you hear me? The gangsters gathered they're all muttered in agreement before the crowd slowly dispersed. Peace was restored to the transfer station. Alright, let's ask that loudmouth what he knows about the switches here, while the wind is still knocked off his sails. Okay. Continue to seek clues from the gang members. Alrighty. <laughs> yes, ma'am! <laughs> I, I kind of wanted that to happen, not gonna lie. Just the whole place is going, yes, ma'am. Anything for you, ma'am. Yes, mommy. I mean, what? It's you. What are you doing this time? Can you keep it down? What? I can't reprimand my subordinate, and now I can't even speak freely? Hey, being loud doesn't break the boss's rules, does it? Huh? Do you want to redeem yourself or not? Then keep it down. I do. <laughs> Listen, using force and intimidation will only make people resent you. If you want to truly be respected, you need to demonstrate strengths that go beyond just brute force. I know that. Of course I'm aware of that, uh, mommy. Uh, I, uh, to be more precise, what am I supposed to do? 
<sighs> You're a veteran of the Mountain Lion Gang, and you've been here much longer than me. Just show us how well you know about the gang, okay? For instance, didn't you say you were going to study... You were studying the rules of the transfer station? Show us what you've learned. How many members are permanently stationed here? What are the station uh, standards for supplies? What is the station... What's the situation in the surrounding area? Um, one patrol team is always stationed here. The standard for supplies. Um, the supplies should be prepared for three standard safe corruption cycles. The surrounding area includes evacuation passages with the mechanisms. How do we evacuate via those passageways? Hmm, if I remember correctly, you have to uh, get through a series of mechanisms and use a special electronic key designed by a designated person to... Huh? Is this something I can share with others? Of course not. That's a test of your confidentiality awareness. You did well. Anyways, use your knowledge to prove your qualifications as a senior and stop getting into brawls. Work hard on it. As for the supply distributions, I'll think of something. I see. So the final mechanism needs a special electronic key card, huh? Damn. Jane playing for all these guys like a damn fiddle. <laughs> okay, and what about you, buddy? Did I tell you not to touch it? Miss Jane! Uh, the ointment works like a charm, but the wound is so itchy you have to scratch it. Unless you want to contract some sort of disease, grin and bear it. Chew the gum and take your mind off things. I'm chewing some already. I've eaten half of it already, but I'm so itchy. Let me ask you a question, and I'll tell you what to do based on, your, on how you answer. You're in charge of distributing supplies around this transfer station, right? Where did all those switches in the use, con uh, use in the construction of the station come from? The guard doesn't slow down his chewing at all, but his <laughs> eyes slightly narrow. <laughs> Madam Jane, why are you asking me about this? I was on a patrol around the perimeter of the base found and found a few of our switches with signs of severe corruption. It could be a theorist messing with them, or perhaps it's just bad luck. I just want to get in some spare parts now ahead of time. Why? You don't need to worry about that right now, though, do you, Miss Jane? I want to keep a name. I want to keep making a name for myself, though. Racer said that when the time comes, he's promoting me to be the, his bodyguard, but I can't wait that long. I want it now. So, I need to find more chances for me to show off. Get it? The serious expression on the guard's face lasts for only a few seconds before it relaxes. <laughs> so, you want to climb the ladder faster, huh? I didn't take you for such hustler, Miss Jane. No. Those devices from all over the place and... Well, <laughs> most are converted from materials on site or looted. You can try the black market if you want to repair them, Miss Jane. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. You take care of yourself. I've got to get going. Huh? Hang on, answer all your questions. Aren't you going to tell me how to get rid of this itch? My cheeks are sore from all this chewing. Really? Then congratulations. That's actually the way to do it. Vigorously chewing gum like that makes the muscles on your, in your cheeks sore, and the pain is so overpowering that you won't even think about your itchy hand. Huh. You know, I think that's kind of true, actually. If you have a stronger pain somewhere else, you ignore the other pain. The, the lesser pain. <laughs> hmm. She definitely knows how to push people's buttons. She can push my buttons. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Jane paces about leisurely as she thinks, uh, begins to think out her next steps. We got key into It's time to come up with some countermeasures. What? What I start with? <laughs> um, localization team? Hello? I'm pretty sure that's meant to say what do I start with, but okay. What the final switch? Yeah, but the food and medical supplies. The last switch near the transfer station needs a special keycard to open, and it's been improvised out of spare parts. Which means creating a fake keycard to brute force it shouldn't be tricky at all, seeing as the NEPS, as the NEPS has. Just the facilities needed to do just that. And food and medical supplies. The lions are mad about having to share supplies with the hostages. This continues. Things are going to slip out of my control sooner or later. Showing up with more food and medicine won't just solve a problem here. It'll also improve my standing with the rest of the gang. Hmm, looks like I'll have to find a way to duck out, find a precinct, and secretly put together a master key card using their tech. It'll be a good chance for me to get some food and medicine out of supplies to appease these thugs at the transfer station and keep them from venting their anger on the hostages. I shout with the guard at the gate and see if I can find a way out. Okay. See exit henchmen to go to the Valley Twins area. 
Okay, I guess I'm ducking out here for now. Uh, anything else I can interact with? <laughs> Any chest here? Any polychromes I can get for Jane? No? Ah, oh, well. Hey, right, let's leave. Also, <laughs> I'll be taking Batty Woo with me again. You seem pretty disappointed. Do you like rubbernecking? Miss Jane, you can't call us rubberneckers. Who do you take us for? We're the Mountain Lion Gang. We're founded on force. A lion's always got to sharpen his claws, right? Oh, well said. I'll leave the next picture up to you then, so you can sharpen those sh claws of yours. Now that's totally cool. Patrolling's just a great opportunity for me, and it's, it's just, it's, you know, right? What I mean is, it's, it's not that I don't want to go. It's just, look at me, you know, I just, you know. <laughs> Right, your mouth is sharper than your claws at this point. Well, listen up, you're in charge of the transfer station exit, right? I want to duck out for a sec. Huh? You want to go outside into the hollow? Uh, but the big boss said we shouldn't do anything rash. I can't make that decision, Miss Jane. Of course, I'm going to go out for the sake of our brothers. Then those two almost come to blows over supplies. I want to go out and fetch more food and drink for everyone. More supplies, then we can hold on to a little more. Isn't it easy in this line of work? What's wrong with earning a little on the side? I see, I get what you're saying, but I mean the rules are set by the boss and a pipsqueak like me don't got the power to go against them. It's, you know, right? What I mean is, you know, let me think of it. Oh my god, this guy's saying you know so many times. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> alright, alright, enough. Just tell me, what do you want? I want to watch a thriller. The Port Peak. The Director's Cut. Either on disc or video tape, whatever. Just need that movie and I gotta... I got all the gear that I need to watch it. Sure, let me think about it. No, let me out. Sure, I uh, got it. Uh, got it. Next time you need to have a request, just cut the BS and like, tell me straight. Damn. They put BS in this game. Holy shit. <laughs> when until ac characters actually start swearing. <laughs> all right, Miss Jane. Oh, you have no idea how boring it is standing guard here. There's no signal in the hollow and I can't even stream any movies. So I'm really holding out for you to bring me that movie. Come on, I'll show you how to get out. Okay, that's as far as I can take you. Next up, you need to find a girl with pink hair. She's our insider on the outside. She can help you out with whatever you need or wherever you want to go. I told her the basics when I left the hollow. Girl with pink hair? Wait, Nicole? Or Rain? One or two? I see. You better head back before any theorists start to gather her here again. Uh, I see you then. Don't forget about my, my movie. You got it, buddy. Oh, hey, we're just here at the Ballet Twins. Yo. Okay, complete the gangster's request, obtain more supplies, find the master key card, and obtain the Port Peak videotape. Do I actually gotta go to like random play to, <laughs> to get it? Hmm. Oh, this girl. Oh, wait, you don't have pink hair. Well, I wouldn't call that pink. I call it more beige than anything, but okay. Hey there, I'm Jane. A young woman with a slightly cocky but weary look in her eyes turns to look at Jane, eyes fixed firmly on her face. There's something on my face? I never expected to see such a beautiful lady joining up with the Mountain Lion Gang. I thought you were all rough around the edges like Razor. <laughs> Speak for yourself. That guard already explained everything. I'm just the outside help, so if you need to go anywhere, just talk to me. If you want to get uh, back to the transfer station, just tell me I'll be around. Got it, I'll come find you when I need you. Speaking of which, I do need your help with something else, beautiful. Oh, damn. <laughs> this list here. Help me put together these supplies. Whatever it costs, I'll give you an extra 30% of your uh, for your work. How about it? As straightforward as you are beautiful. All right. I'll send someone for your supplies. And by the way, I like you. Can I add you a knock knock? Oh, damn. <laughs> Holy shit. The Riz on fucking Jane is insane. <laughs> Get that stuff and I'll think about it. I'll leave things to you then. Excellent. That's a supply secured. Next up is that master key card. So your contacts to visit the Luna Square area. Oh, okay. Uh, So I talk to her again. Where are you off to, beautiful? Lumina Square. Okay, I know a way that avoids Nep's patrols. Come on. Good lord. 
Oh man, a lesbian. <laughs> so I'm gonna go insane over this, I can just tell. Alright. Now I gotta go get a... Oh, right, I gotta go to PubSec to uh, fucking get a master key card. But uh, maybe I should be doing this in public. Eh. Well, it's a dead night. I don't think the main boss is gonna be around here. Hopefully not. Oh, wait, I meant to go down the stairs. Yeah, I don't know why. I just prefer to walk over that instead of just, you know, doing this loading screen to cross the road. Also, Jane has, like, a, you know, wanted thing on his face. Also, hey, what are you guys doing? The hell? Um, something going on here, ladies and gentlemen? I feel like I should stop this. Uh, yeah, a bunch of drunks surrounding two women is never a good idea. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna ignore that then. Oh, well. Rest in peace. <laughs> okay. Pub sec. We made it to the Lumina Square branch, but unfortunately, Operation Hooked is still top secret. And I'm not a public security officer. I would just strut in there without warning they'll arrest me. I'll have to keep out of sight. They still got officers stationed. How professional. But a pain in the neck for me right now. Is there any way to lower people outside for a while? <sighs> I reached a booze and vomit here. These drugs are a bit too much. And they're starting to harass the ordinary citizens. I should stop- Okay, <laughs> it's part of the story. I should stop them first, then figure out. Wait, there seems to be a perfect solution for both sides. Yep, okay. <laughs> I was wondering, can I not help these guys? No, okay, I, I can. <laughs> we get pup sec on them. Here's your order. It's the finest, most aromatic, uh, top quality stuff. Huh? Hey, who, who are you? Trust me, I run inside the precinct. They're being unfair to you right now. You need to ditch them. Oh, oh, I get it. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's my order again? <gasps> Hurry, or it'll be gone. It's right in the private room up, up ahead. Wow, director, they gave us this dish for free. Go, go, go. <gasps> right here, come this way. Now go on, run, run into the precinct. Other Janes lead the band of drunks rush into the public security precinct, completely ignoring the on-duty officer trying to block them off. Oh, now I'm in. <laughs> Excellent, I made it in. Now that everyone's distracted, I can raid the equipment room for that key card. Okay. Oh, the drunks are actually in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I go back there, though? Can I just... Oh, just opens for me. Okay. Wow, that easy to get into the back here, huh? Alright. <laughs> the key to the interior equipment room is in this locker. I gotta punch a six-digit code. Wait, who wrote a note about the passcode down at the bottom here? Some absent-minded officer? Okay, uh, be the note. The safeguard against forgetful officers will set the most frequently appearing number around here as the passcode to make things easier. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, I get to... I have to figure out the, the password for myself. Okay. A whole stack of banners. None, none of them seem to have any numbers on them, though. Like, it's the most frequently appearing number. Hmm. Was that the most frequently appearing number around here as the passcodes made things easier? Okay, thanks for the hints, officers. Uh, okay. The calendar? Hmm. It's a record of hollow disasters and how they were handled. Several number of strings appear to be listed quite a few times here. Um, okay, I'm seeing 10, 12, 13. And then also 10, 12, 25. That one appears twice. Oh, no, it's 10, 12, 25. I think that might be it. Of which... Uh... Yeah, that number appeared twice, that number appeared twice, that number appeared twice, that number appeared thrice. Yeah, there we go. 10, 12, 25. And might as well check this just for fluff dialogue. It's a record of how disasters and how they handled. I remember all four of these. Probably not our answer, though. 10, 12, 25. Uh... 
uh, 101. And then 225. It's open. Time's running out. I And those drunks will soon be all be taken care of. Gotta hurry inside the equipment room and get the master key card. Nice. I'll say, what's back here? Oh, this is uh, Julianne's office, I think. Oh, yeah, I really wonder who runs this place. <laughs> oh, damn, look at that. Yep, this is Julianne's desk for sure. I'm guessing this is uh, also Chingy's, maybe? <laughs> okay, the, the photo's a bit slightly, um, like, not high quality, but at least you can make it out that it's Julianne. Man, I part of me just wants to go exploring around the public security place as of right now. <laughs> okay, but let's go and raid the equipment room. Finally, access to the equipment room. The master keycard should be in here somewhere. And the lights are out, but whatever. I'm used to operating in the dark. As for the footage captured by the corridor surveillance camera, I'll just have to wait for Zhu Yan and Officer Brian to help me with it. Jane carefully slips into the equipment room, and the master key guards a low-level Nept's asset. And Jane quickly finds one by rummaging around in the dark. As she leaves the room, the ruckus between the drunks and the officers in the lobby is still raging on. Master key card got. I got the master key card. That license should have gotten the supplies by now, right? It's the only thing left to do is somehow score the movie that kid asked for. But where am I gonna get it? There's a cinema over at Luna Square. Let's check it out. Um, you don't steal tapes from cinemas. At least I don't think so. Okay, but anyways, inwards and outwards. Uh, I was kind of hoping we'd go to like random play or something and just meet the proxy gang. <laughs> Probably hoping is, is that what happens. Like we can just meet ourselves as NPCs. Gonna be like totally trippy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, cinema it is. Also, damn, nobody's on the streets. Okay, well, a few people are. Oh, hi, Travis. It's you again. Girl movie enthusiasts? Uh, boy movie enthusiasts. Okay. Yo, can I get a tape from one of you guys? Jane instantly changes the tone of her voice to transform into that of an enthusiastic but naive uh, movie novice. Good evening. Is this where I can buy movies? You wanna buy a movie here? Are you for real? You just wanna buy the whole Master Prince? Ah, oh, fuck, I skipped twice. Ah, uh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Um, good evening, miss. I, I assume you're wondering if you can buy discs for home viewing here? Cinemas don't usually sell them. Oh, is that so? I thought you could buy them here. I'm looking for a movie my friend recommended. It has Mountain in the title, and I think it's a thriller. Huh? That's a little bit vague. Travis, you got any ideas? Oh, he's gonna recommend me to random play, right? Yeah. I'm not sure either, but I know someone who'd know, miss. If you don't mind renting it, I know a good store. They have a master collection and a wide variety, and the owners are very knowledgeable. They'd be definitely be able to help. Ah, oh, that sounds amazing. What's the name of this store? It's called Random Play, yup. <laughs> it's close by over on 6th Street. If you're quick, you should be able to get there before they shut off for the night. Great, at least I know I can find a movie on 6th Street. Public transportation will get me there quickly, but with my current identity, it's too dangerous. I should go back and find the contact. She might be able to help me. Yo, okay. <laughs> let's go meet, uh, yeah, let's go meet Bell and Wise <laughs> while they are NPCs. Oh man, this is gonna be creepy as hell. <laughs> Where do you need to go to get to? 6th Street. Of course I do, it's tiny. Just come with me. I know the routes to avoid public sec patrols. Oh yeah, I also pretty much put together all the supplies you asked for. They'll be ready to go back when you do. Supplies are good and the social mask key card. Now the movie's all that's left. Time to find that video store. What was it called again? Random play? Gee, I really wonder what it is. Let me go have some noodles. That'd be kind of nice, actually. It's the same noodle shop over at the one in Lumina Square. Is that a family business? The video store I'm looking for has got to be nearby. Now let's go get, get coffee. A coffee shop. Looks like this isn't the place either. I wonder who put this packet of instant coffee next to the panda at the door. Interesting. <laughs> can I? How many things can I interact with here? Can I talk to Officer Mew Mew? An officer patrolling next to a dumpster. Poor guy. How diligent. 
Speaking of which, how come he's everywhere? He's not the same person in that costume, is it? I would hope not. Oh, let's hide, say hi to Howl. Shh, sleep well. I hope that one day there won't be any more bad news in the newspapers you're selling. <laughs> sleep well, meanwhile, he's wide awake. Godfinger, not the storm I'm looking for. This doesn't feel like playing arcade, some arcade games. It's a shame I got nobody to play with. Me, Jane, you can play with me. Come into my polls. <laughs> Get your banner here already. Okay, sorry, I just want to go over all the fluff dialogue because it's kind of fun. Because, you know, I won't get the opportunity to play Jane again, so I might as well see. What the hell? Hughes, when will you come back and help me find or uh, fix the, the TV at home? Uh, sorry, but I'm not Hughes. I just TV the fridge broken down too. The lights don't work either. Uh, oh, I think there's something you can encounter as, uh, as Bell and Wise. <laughs> also, I want to see what Jane says about this, this statue. So this is C sophistication, eh? <laughs> Interesting. Now that's a potential backup option for a future disguise. I'd rather not you disguise as a bang who's taking a shit. Jane. <laughs> okay, okay. Enough to, enough uh, dialing around. Let's go to a random play. I just wanted to see what Jane like comments on everything. <laughs> oh yeah, also the barbic needle. Music is an amazing thing, bringing light in the darkest times. Plus, there's a bit of rhythm is required when figure skating. But apparently, this isn't the sort I'm looking for. Yo, Jane does figure sk uh, skating? Yo! I want to see that in action. <laughs> okay, well, let's go in. Several minutes ago, outside the 6th Street Metro Station exit, Bell and Wise are walking home from Lumina Square. Yep. <laughs> uh, finally back. Oh, seriously. <laughs> That officer lady said the renewal process is going to be fast. Now it's dark already. And I'm so hungry. Okay, so we're not in... So we're not the main characters for this story, but we are still playing a role in the story. I, I like that. Aren't we back late because of all that shopping at Lumina Square? <laughs> you can't blame the public security officer for that. Why do you always have to side with somebody else, bro? <laughs> Even if I was shopping for a while, you could still try to take another angle. It's not like I delayed business for us at the video store or something. Either way, it's because you went shopping. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't want to fight. You're hungry too, yeah? Let's get back to the store, check things over, then get some food. And I'm picking the place today since all the shopping affected business at the video store. Huh? How come? You're definitely just going to pick noodles again. <laughs> Let's make a bet. If no customers come by, then I get to choose. Well, wise wins. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, little Missy, but it looks like you'll be eating noodles tonight. <laughs> huh? H who are you? Excuse me. Are you two the owners of this video store? I'd like to rent a movie. Not long after, inside the Random Play store. I see. You want to rent a thriller that's about mountains. Hmm. If we use that as a keyword, then... It's all my fault. I wasn't paying attention and forgot what the exact title was. Who knew it'd be so hard to remember? It's a tough search for one thing. But secondly, well, we've already shut down for the day. Rebooting our computers and getting all your customer info would be a bit of a hassle now. I see. Seems that's a problem for you. Well, I uh, guess I'd better try my luck at another more professional video store then. Damn, Jane, you didn't need to roast us like that. Come on. <laughs> well, good for you then, Missy. Since I'm not technically a customer, I guess you won't have to eat noodles tonight. Oh, uh, hold on one moment. There, <laughs> God damn it, Wise. <laughs> on second thought, you came all this way just to see us. So we should honor your effort and find this movie for you. Ah, are you sure? Then what about rebooting all the computers and that other stuff? We can just start a tab under your name for now. It should be fine. <laughs> huh? You sure are quick when it comes to business, bro. What? I just want to prove that random play is the sure, most sure thing wise in town. <laughs> Excuse me, but about your friend who wants to see the movie, what are they like? Are they brave? He acts brave on the outside, but doesn't really dare to do anything ever. And he's great at making excuses. <laughs> Sounds like an entry-level thriller fan. Oh, 
Isn't that about the same as you, Wise? Which of the new thrillers have you dared to watch? It might be better not to use me as the benchmark bell. <laughs> as the owner-operator of a video store, I watch each and every movie with the same professional attitude. Nice! Then after dinner, let's do a little thriller movie marathon! So far, I've only dared to watch Silent Valley, The Big Hollow, and The Port Peak. Ah, I've heard of Silent Valley before. But I don't think that's the one my friend wanted. Yeah, I forgot the title really? too. What was the movie the you wanted? It doesn't really have much to do with mountains, and it's not even a thriller. So it has to be the Port Peak then. A brutal chainsaw wielding monster Whoa. haunts a bunch of backpackers in these wintry mountains. There's plenty of thrilling action with splattering blood and gore. <laughs> Practically every scene has prop arms and organs bleeding all over the place. Holy damn. I think I'm going to have vegetarian noodles tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by your description, I'd say that it's definitely the Port Peak then. Thank you so much. You really helped me out here. I won't forget it. I love. Can I just say for for a moment? I, I just love how. Isn't that just Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> that that's exactly what it is, right? Yeah, I haven't seen the movie myself, but my friends described it to me. But yeah, can I just say how I love how distinctive the personalities of Wise and Bell are? Like, Bell is clearly way more unhinged <laughs> and a bit more outgoing and social. Me about Wise is more of the cool and collected kind of protagonist. I, I don't know. I just love the differences between these two. <laughs> uh, wait a second, miss. I'm kind of got them basically not like just the same person, but different gender. <laughs> you can keep the change. Use what's left over to oh, that's a new expression. Favorite dessert. <laughs> it's on me. Bye now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a new S pose. So she's just fucking double pointing at us. <laughs> wow, that rat Thyron girl sure has that riz. Thyron, that's how you say it. I got ingrained that in my brain. Thyron, 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 as in Jane's thighs. Okay. I was going to say that she forgot to put her name down in the account book. Probably for the best. <laughs> Probably she did not want to. A few days after updating the license photos, inside random play. Oh, I'm back to Bell. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is kind of the tab out for the story for now, I think. Bell, you're just in time. There's just something I wanted to ask you. Have you got a minute? Of course. Oh. Okay. So, I guess I'm on pause for Jane's story for now, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, it seems like we're kind of tapping out the main story for now, but I want to do it in like in its entirety. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and continue on the main story here. Although what's over here? I thought I got everything in this place already. Oh, oh just like the extra stuff and whatnot. Neighborhood info. All special episode. Okay, that's a thing already. Yay. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Zenless, for the one polychrome. I could definitely use it for Jane. Okay. Oh, wait, there's another thing here, too? Wait, what is this? Oh, this for, like, completing the trial for, like, Jane No, I think. Yep. And there's one for, like, 23 characters. Damn. Okay. Yeah, okay. The, yeah, the, doing the one for Jane, even though I don't technically have her, counts towards this. Oh, not, not Jane. Chingy, Chingy. Yeah, yeah, I thought we just someone forgot that Ch that Chingy's the, the the character on the banner right now, not not Jane Doe. Oh man, I got Jane Doe on the fucking mind. Okay, but let's continue the main story here. All right, our business asset credentials got cleared, so we might be able to go into Lumina Branch of Public Security for our papers to finish the whole process. Oh, well, let me guess, we're gonna go there and I it's. Notice from Public Security, the process of renewing our business license went quite smoothly. But it seems like we still need to visit the public security office anyway. Go shopping in Lumina Square immediately. Go handle affairs at public security. Go shopping. Off we go. Let's go to Lumina Square now and do some shopping. <laughs> don't forget, the main goal here is to renew the business license. You don't want to be out shopping all day and then come home late to noodles again, do you? Speaking of which, <laughs> I wonder how that customer is doing. The one who rented the Port Peak last time. All right, 18. Can you please remember to keep an eye out for a spunky Thyron girl today? <laughs> if she comes to return a movie, please get her name or register her as a member. 
spunky Tyran girl. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Mount Hall's transfer station in the Valley Twins Tower. <clears throat> Somebody must be thinking about me. <laughs> I wonder who. Dang, you're finally back. I've missed you, you know. Oh, it's you. That's rather disappointing. And this is what you missed, right? Oh, all right. The Port Peak in HD. And it's the special videotape release with 20 seconds of extra footage. <laughs> I'm going to put this on right now. Only 20 seconds? Go Damn. Right <laughs> There's lots of thrilling action scenes and loads of blood and gore with chopped limbs flying around. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, second thoughts. Why so quiet all of a sudden? You scared? Uh, yeah, right. It's just, uh, I feel like when we're at work, uh, we should be a little more serious. I'll stand guard a little longer, and then when the others come back, I'll... Hmm? Hey! Hold on! Why did you bring the hostages out again? The. Ah, uh, Jane! You're back! <laughs> uh, you sure have been working hard. Uh, I'm going to take the hostages to the restroom. Again? How many times have you taken them already? You can only blame yourselves. What do you expect after giving me so much water? <laughs> Can't you just go in your cell? Go in my cell? Have you no shame? Everybody can see. Also, how the fuck is he supposed oh, to zip down like his pants with his uh, hands tied? If I keep doing that, our jail won't be very habitable anymore. <laughs> <sighs> Did you have to go there? Ew. <laughs> Ew. Fine. <laughs> Take them out. We can't have our little officer losing his dignity now. Do you need to call a few more guards to go with you? There could be ethereals lurking around this area. I did not need to know that. What the fuck? <laughs> Do not go. Oh my god. I... No, 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 no. TMI. No, no, TMI, my guy. The bathroom isn't far, and besides, uh, I know all the fissures and shortcuts around this part of the hollow. We'll be right back. Oh, speak of the sharp witted uh, henchman. Okay, I guess Seth will be something out for a bit. Man, <laughs> I, I wonder how Seth has not escaped at this point. Because, like, how many times have you been to the bathroom now? Like, damn. Okay. What do you have to say, smart underling? It's Jane, you're back. What are you doing here? Where's the supply guard? Oh, him? He said his cheeks were really sore and his wrist was itchy. He couldn't take any longer, so he ran to the restroom. What'd you manage to get? Hmm, I see word gets around. The supplies are just outside the transfer station. Give me a saw and fetch those for me, would you? Alright, but we need the guard to handle the inventory and distribution of supplies, so we should wait for him. Miss Jane, you've been at it all night. Why don't you take a break? Checks on Seth and the guards. Okay. No need, I'm still wide awake. Never mind that. Seth and the guard. Am I imagining things or is something going on around here? Hmm. They're playing an escape, aren't they? To the bathroom, they sure are taking their time. They're escaping. <laughs> Probably. Hey, what have you been feeding the hostages? Uh, uh, well, same as us. Some hardtack and some water. All right. According to your instructions... We were sure to pump that one from PubSec full of water. Yep. And he ate the gross, salty, fish-flavored hardtack, too. And the medication? You mean uh. the muscle relaxants? We have lowered the dosage before stopping it completely, just like you ordered. Really? Then they shouldn't be so slow. Maybe they ran out of paper. <laughs> Not good. We have a problem. Uh. Gone. It's all gone. I knew it. I knew it. Here you go, take this. My mom always taught me to keep a spare roll on me. <laughs> no, not toilet paper, you dumbass. Huh? What is this? <laughs> toilet paper? Yeah, the bathroom's out of toilet paper. Right? No, the hostages! The hostages <laughs> all gone! <laughs> These fucking numb nuts. The hostages! The guard! That officer! Everyone's gone! The guard in the bathroom got knocked out! And that rookie escorting them betrayed us. Oh. He escaped with the hostages. Wait, there was a traitor in in the gang other than me, other what? than Jade. The 
Stroll has gone to uptake the boss. Oh. There's nothing he hates more than traitors. You can bet he's gonna come over here personally. We have got to go catch them, otherwise we're all in for it. That kid, he really convinced someone to betray us. Hmm. Listen up. Leave the chase to me. You'll only slow things down. Everybody just wait for the boss at the transfer station. Okay. <laughs> didn't see this coming. I didn't see this either. What the did Seth fucking use a power of justice speak to to convince a guard? Oh shit, there they go. After them. Am go I gonna fight Seth here too? They sure are fast. Damn, <laughs> is Seth gonna become a boss right now? Okay, let's go. That idiot is triggering all the traps. What the cluster bombs? Damn. It's a laser net. It's Holy smell. shit. Watch out, Ethereal. Gotta focus on dodging. How the fuck is Seth match him do this? Well, I mean Jay, you said it yourself. The guards there are kinda stupid, so I guess they can be talked out of a life of crime. Oh, <laughs> I'm in the zone today. Oh shit, there they go. They managed that to way. get deeper into the building. Not bad. Oh god. Uh, okay, we're fine. Dodge. Oh yeah. Damn, this this building's like rigged to blow or something. Good lord. Oh Seems hey, like what's up, fellas? Ooh, what the hell? I never seen that trap before. Uh, okay. I didn't expect it to be freaking laser traps. Right, dodge. Uh, okay, come on. Hit me! Spin! Okay. How? Better not hurt my tail. Better not hurt me, but bitch. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. How far did they make it, it in? Be just up ahead. Gotta hurry. Oh, okay, we're done. <sighs> Seth, did did they really give you muscle relaxants? How did you manage to run faster than us <laughs> the whole way? I'm just built different. The thing with muscles is, as long as you're reasonable with them and motivate them, they'll always be able to move. In what universe does that make any sense? <laughs> Oh god. Oh, that's it. I can't keep running it. Oh. No, just keep up. Didn't you just say we're almost at the exit? No. We're already here. This is the exit. Uh. <laughs> I see. Let's go, people. You two head out first. Are are you sure? But you're weak, officer. Wouldn't it be better if you got out first? Don't worry about me. Time is of the essence, and you all need to get out of here. Quick! <laughs> Thank you, Officer Seth. If it weren't for you, we definitely would have been. All in a day's work for a public security officer. Come on. <laughs> um, but okay. we're like right behind you, You're though. <sighs> uh, what's wrong? Seth, can I... Can I really cross over to the other side? Can I... Oh my god, he did speed really talk him. Over again? <laughs> Could someone like me really get another chance? That's not for me to decide. But if you stay here, you'll never find out. Thank you, Seth. I... Hey. Wait. Damn, they caught up. You, you, you stay away from me. I'm turning my back on this life of crime, Jane. You should do the same. Shut up and listen. There are other paths you can take. Oh, what other path? Uh-oh. Oh, no. That voice, it's... It's Razor the Mountain Lion! Why is he here already? Ah, oh, fuck. A stern voice rings out from beneath them, uh, behind them. Bustling footsteps and shouts can be heard from approach, approaching in the distance. The main force of the Mountain Lion gang surround them. Oh, shit. We're surrounded. Just stay behind me. The rules of the streets, the rules of the gang, my rules. None tolerate a traitor. 
So Jane, what other paths do they have? <laughs> Only surrender, of course. Surrender and submission. Hmm. According to the rules, traitors should suffer a fate worse than death. Hmm. But seeing as Jane says so, I'm willing to give a second chance. You kill the pop sex scum, and I'll let you off lightly. Uh, okay, that's not what's happening here. <laughs> I'll give you three seconds to think it over. Three, two, one. I refuse. Oh shit. The sound of gunfire rings out and a barrage of bullets fly towards the two of them. Oh shit. Oh. Wait, hang on. The, under the relentless suppressing fire, the traitor's quickly captured. Oh no. Behave yourself, you rotten traitor. Oh, he refused your proposal, Jane. You know what to do next. Let me go! Ah, oh, fuck. You dare harm him? No, you guys should have gotten out. <laughs> Damn. Give, give me another chance. Stop it! Jane! Don't do it! You can still turn this around! Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Anything else to say? I... 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 I want to start over. <laughs> I know. You will. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> He's fine, though, right? Probably. Oh, God, Don't did he even kill him? You're up next. <laughs> uh. Chain. What are you doing? You're breaking the rules now, too. No way, boss. Just, didn't you say, when the time's right, I can become a bodyguard? Yeah, so what? We mountain lions are fierce and unbeatable. What's she gonna do? What's she cooking? Can stop us. It'd be a waste to get rid of him like this. Don't you think? What's your point? Because so, he's so useful. Here, I think the time has come. Let me fight in front of the gang to prove myself and earn a shot at promotion. Oh, we're dueling, Seth? I propose a duel in the lion's den. Oh, shit. Hold it, Jane. Don't think you're all that. Only the boss calls the shots. Gentlemen, are you still in the dark about the rumors on the streets? They say that in front of PubSec, mountain lions are just little scaredy cats. Our brothers caught, business stolen, operations ruined, territory shrinking, and what did we do in response? Oh, de oh, oh we damn! I, we I wish I was that guy. Scattered like mice, with our heads down. Oh my goodness! Lions are creatures that, that should have been me. It's not fair. And this pub sack officer is the perfect opportunity to prove ours. Yeah, he, he didn't kill what that guy. Did he? Make it clear to all other gangs. We are real lions. <laughs> and not some scaredy cats. B boss, I think Jane actually has a point. Don't worry, boss. How long have we been pushed around? Lions! We're mountain lions! Don't show them, Jane! We support you! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm We're the strongest gang! Lions! 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 Duel! 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 <gasps> What do you say? When the lion's den is ready, I'll send someone for you. Until then, keep an eye on the cat. You got it, boss. Much appreciated. Oh, I boss. thought we we're gonna fight Seth right here now. I won't let you down. Oh wait. Oh, Seth is a cat. Okay, I thought he was a dog this whole time. <laughs> Okay, well, what a <laughs> that, was a that was a fucking great cover. <laughs> Holy shit, Seth almost got fucking stomped there. Also, oh cool. I didn't realize the uh, you could actually get a Jane profile here if you actually uh, pause with her still here. Yeah, I'm getting her friendship all the way up for sure. 
<laughs> well, yeah, at least she still has her cover and I guess managed to save everybody. I'm assuming that guy she pushed off the building is safe. I don't... Mm, I'm not sure, actually. We, we need to wait and see. Oh, yeah, we still have the special episode going on here. Yeah, I, I didn't realize you can just pause here and see Jane Doe right here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be putting for Jane Doe for sure. I'm going to say that like 10 times over. <laughs> My apologies. Turn the tables on the silk uh, tail in a dance-off. Wait, in a dance-off? The fuck? In the silk tail? Wait. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. That, that is... I don't think it's anything to do with Jane's story. I think it's something else entirely. Okay, but Seth's still alive for now. Who the fuck knows when fucking Zhu Yan and the rest are gonna act, but hopefully soon before Seth get fu gets fucking crushed to the ground. Okay, check for supply points and get ready for the final showdown. We're gonna do a duel, right? Probably. Oh, probably, probably a duel with a uh, big man himself, Razor. I think. Right, yeah, Seth being a cat, <laughs> Jane being a mouse, it, it kind of fits in a way. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, supplies for the escape are all ready. With these, our chances of survival should go up. It is what it is. Better find a way to get this done in the duel with Seth. Oh, wait, no, I am fighting Seth. I am prepared. I'm prepared. I'll finish the mission and gnaw hold the necks of these mountain lions. Ooh. Let's do this. A short while later at the Mountain Lions transfer station, with the two hostages escape plus the upcoming duel, Razor decides to evacuate the station early. Brussels the gang begins packing everything up in a hurry. I finally managed to get things going, keeping Seth alive while also using him as the bait I need to get into the lion's den. The escape supplies are all ready. My route and universal key card are all sorted. Hmm. I just need a way to rescue Seth before our duel. Okay, I guess we're not actually fighting him. Guard kid. I dropped him off in a place where there were warnings of fissures potentially opening. Oh. He said he's been at this transfer station a while and knows all the fissures and shortcuts around this area. Guess I can only hope that he was telling the truth. Okay, so he's probably fine. Probably. Please, please be safe. Oh, so our strong newcomer who's going all out to become a bodyguard is someone who says her prayers, huh? Uh. <laughs> Just a little pregame prayer, nothing more. But as for you, don't tell me a majestic mountain lion bodyguard would stoop to eavesdropping. Seems like this will be easier than. Oh, raise his right hand, you know okay. I'm a bodyguard. I'm here on the boss's orders to take you to the lion's den. Oh, okay. So, Everything is already set up for the fight. No need to shower, get changed, go over the rules, paint up some lion shirts, <laughs> or anything like that. <laughs> Come on, I was just kidding, Mr. Bodyguard. You don't have to be so nervous. I'll guide you through the fissure into the lion's den. We leave now. Gotcha. Just let me pack my things and then... We leave now. Okay. <laughs> Why the rush? The lion's den isn't going anywhere. At least let me fix my makeup, okay? Jane, are you going to ignore the rules of the mountain lions? <sighs> fine, fine. Let's go now, then. You lead the way, Mr. Bodyguard. Mr. Bodyguard, <sighs> okay. So well, damn. I didn't have time to grab my escape supplies. I had a feeling something like this might happen. Looks like I'll have to come up with an escape plan on the fly. Hmm. Jane falls a mountain lion bodyguard down. Ooh, okay, that went by too quickly. Hang on, let me read that again. <laughs> Jane falls a mountain lion bodyguard down a corridor and through the innermost fissure. The strange feeling of each energy brushing against her skin caused a slight tingling sensation. Stepping out of the fissure, Jane finds herself in a completely unexpected place. Is this. Uh. Hollow Zero? Oh. So the lion's den is hidden inside Hollow Zero. Hey, where I've been going to <laughs> in the previous the stream. dangerous place is also the safest. Those pub sick cowards never go anywhere dangerous. But we mountain lions aren't afraid. So that's it. 
The mountain lions know the location of a stable fissure leading to hollow zero from a companion hollow. Hmm. Every time they need to escape, they flee to this area in hollow zero. That's why public security could never find or catch them. Makes sense. <laughs> No wonder that transfer station is churning out supplies for anti-corruption serum. They must be used for holing up inside Hollow Zero. Once they're out of danger, they can slip out of the fissure and escape. <laughs> Impressive. That's a risky strategy that only a group as bold and talented as yourselves could pull off. Don't be envious. You'll be joining our group of bold and talented people soon enough. Yeah. But you have to prove yourself. Okay. The bodyguard suddenly shoved Jane from behind. Okay. Damn. What gives? Bro, don't need to be so forceful for her name. Forcing it to fall down from the platform which they were standing. The duel will be just up those stairs there. Uh, hang on. Oop. Nobody said anything about a qualification round before the duel. Oh wait, hang on. I, I just give this uh The duel will be just up those stairs there. You can go up once you meet all the requirements. Becoming a bodyguard is the boss's way of acknowledging you, but we mountain lions need to see you prove yourself first. Okay. If you want a shot at the duel, then you'll have to make it there on your own. This is also one of our rules. Fine by me. Warm up round. Let's do you this. Call that a rule? It's just a way to wear me down before the fight. <laughs> rules are rules. Plus, weren't you praying just now? This little trial should be a. Oh, am I fighting you? Come on, newbie. We're looking forward to seeing how you do. Fine. Let's do this. Okay. Initiate your duel or whatever. Seriously. Another task to collect access oh. cards. Hmm. We need three cards. Okay, I guess I'm not dueling anybody else. Oh, they really couldn't come up with anything better than Oh, wait, no, I am. Let's start investigating. The target's really? over there. Multiple of you? Sorry. It'll be over soon enough. Oh, fine. You guys asked yeah. for this, I suppose. Yeah, bam. Bay blade. <laughs> Damn, uh... Well, oh, didn't expect to be qualify around, but all right. That's fine. I need to warm up anyways. Great. That's the first access card. Ooh, gear coins. Ooh, and a bunch of goodies. Give me all that. Yes. Full energy. Okay. Uh, how many qualifier rounds are there? No, it's easy. I just need to beat all of you up. Yep. And also, you guys aren't that hot at all. Boom. Bam. Spin. Yeah. Oh yeah! Get him! Uh, using my bag isn't cheating, right? Let's keep going. Yeah, it probably doesn't count as cheating. Uh, no worries. Also, yeah, um, she can, she can also go through enemies using our dodge, right? Like go directly past them. An ambush. So predictable. Oh fuck, laser! Oh, well, I can use that at the very least for perfect dodging. Yeah. Boom. Okay, third item. Great. That should be all right. That's the second access card. Oh no, only second. Only one more to find. All right, come at me. I'll take you all on. So you are here too. Oh. Don't expect me to go easy on you. Taste of the abyss. Well, I mean. <laughs> I guess that's technically still intermission, you know, to wipe out these guys and whatnot <laughs> in the Mountain Lions. Oh, hey, big boy. Final wave. Okay, you got it. Dodge. Spin. Assault. Whoa, okay. Spin. Break him. Yes. This will be painless. Oh, Jane does so much fucking fun to play. Man, they released this mission with with only Chingy on the band. Like, what were they thinking? Like, come all on. All right, that's all three of them. Time to go and get promoted. 
All right. Oh, a punch drinking assault. Okay, they're giving me a resonium for a reason. It's gonna be a hard fight up ahead. <laughs> you qualified for all three of them. Thanks, Batty Boo. <laughs> <laughs> you helped me, you know. <laughs> I didn't do it myself, but you assisted me. But okay, thank you. All right. Uh, we dealing the boy Seth now. Oh shit, and Razor as well is here. At the claim the Mountain Lions gang trial, Jane ascends the steps atop the platform. Razor's Mountain Lion bodyguards await, along with two other people. Razor, what a great surprise! Are you here to congratulate me on passing the trial? I see you even brought that little pub sec prince with you. Jane, they... Ugh! Shut up, you pub sec maggot! Damn. <laughs> Careful with the goods. He's going to be my trophy in a moment. I want to defeat a real, living public security officer. To have the gang cheering my name, and to feel the joy of stomping him into the ground. <laughs> Damn. Don't spoil my fun. Mm. Yeah. Jane Doe, the new cub of the Mountain Lions. You have completed the path of promotion and earned the recognition of the gang. You hereby qualify as my loyal and trusted bodyguard. It's an honor, boss. But there's one final step to take before you earn your official place in the duel. Oh? Whatever you say, boss. But before that... Huh? Oh, as she listens to Razor's orders, Jane suddenly turns around to dodge a bodyguard who is approaching from behind with a weapon. Jane restrains her assailant, firmly pressing her dagger into its ribs. Oh, damn! Sneak attack? Who, from who? <laughs> Trying to ambush me, huh? Afraid I'm coming for your position. Guess you couldn't help being anxious. And you even dared to pull a cheap trick like that in front of the boss. <laughs> I was just gonna break one of your hands, that's all. Oh, wow, that's dirty. <laughs> Bastard. You really think I'm gonna forgive you just because you spilled the beans so easily? <laughs> Kindergarten ended 20 years ago, buddy. Go explain yourself to the boss. Yeah, what were you doing? <laughs> I don't have to. Explain anything because the uh oh no, huh? does he know <laughs> what a sharp pain shoots from what? Break one of her hands. Oh, you that bastard. Was my order. No, he knew. Fuck a sharp pain shoots from behind us, unexpectedly powerful impact that sends Jane flying through the air. Shit, <gasps> Razor, you why? Jane, I want you to lose to this pub sec punk in the duel. What? Then I can go up there and kill him myself. Why? As long as you fight well enough, I'll arrange for someone to escort you to a hospital in New Eridu immediately after the duel. Really? This is one of my rules for your promotion. You're asking me to go up there and lose on purpose and pretend it's real? What kind of stupid rule is that? Without responding, Razor leads forward and picks Jane up by the throat, as if already knowing what would happen next. The other lackeys back away with a sensual smile. Oh no, don't break her arm. Don't, you you're bastard. Above the rest, Jane, but you're always missing the point. The rules of the fight, the rules of promotion, my rules. Fucking. The point isn't the rules. It's that they're mine. You know, can't we just, you know, try and kill him right here and now? I mean, we found his hideout. We found where the gang resides. And, you know, we kind of beat up most of the soldiers on the way here. So why don't we just break Seth free and just, you know, fuck this guy up? <laughs> Come on. Me, Razor. I'm the only authority. I'm the only explanation. And I'm the only leader. Fucking. I am the mountain lion. And only I represent the mountain lions. I need bodyguards who can protect me and my reputation, not some stinking ambitious rat. You've already defied me twice now in front of everyone. Ah, oh, goddammit. stuff around in my gang. Oh, he's getting jealous now, isn't he? Enough to not just get rid of you, so you better listen to my orders now. Understand? Man, fuck you. 
<laughs> so, this whole circus is just because you're afraid of losing face and status? I thought you might have figured out my secret. Uh. <laughs> but it turns out a stopped clock is right twice a day. Secret? What do you mean? Pop security, put your hands in the air. <laughs> <laughs> the same narrow minded thinking and boring ambitions. All you're doing is. Hiding for power like stray cats on the street. How ridiculous. You think you're all that with your arrogant attitude. That's what I hate about you. But it doesn't matter. I've got loads of time. No, you don't. So, let me teach you a little something about my rules. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Break him free right now! <gasps> you brat! What are you doing? I can't stand dishonesty! I've heard enough and I've taken enough! You demand loyalty, but will sacrifice your companions on a whim for your own greed! Jane, do you get it now? The filthy nature of these gangsters! If you would have just agreed to my terms, we could have avoided all this nonsense! I agree but you're to just your so terms. obsessed with- uh, <laughs> uh, Hang on, what did you say? I agree. I agree to your terms. Turning over a new leaf, changing for the better. Okay, I agree. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, I mean it. Just try pulling on the cuffs with both hands. It's no use. The muscle relaxants have... Huh? They broke. My strength is back. But how? You sweat more being agitated, and you drink a lot of water. Right? I don't want to talk about the bathroom, Jane. Urination plus sweating speeds metabolism enough to almost completely process the medicine. So that's why you made me drink... <laughs> Shane, oh yeah, you sit here. you betray me! Well, you heard him. I'm tired of the drama. I'm done, and I can let myself out. I've already got the key. My card? You swiped it when you were getting beaten up? <laughs> Fine. Oh, damn. Even better. I'll just kill the traitor then. It'll boost my rep all the same. Let's do this! Yes, I'll show you how much weight a mountain lion can carry! I'm gonna make that mount a fucking ad. Let's do this. Oh man, he shot no himself. Escape. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Get in, bitch. Ow, okay, that he kinda hurts actually. Ooh. Let's go. Whoa, what are you doing? Fuck. Easy. Barry! Hit him where it hurts. Uh, assault him. Let's make this quick. Okay, damn, the he's like kind of hard, actually. Begins now. Get him, Harry. Oh yeah, nothing, baby. How do you like me now? Go down, Razor. You are nothing. Yeah, I figured we should pop the call Pub Seki at this it's point, but oh well. <laughs> Come on, try your hardest. Execution. Continue. Boom. I'll make it pain. Harry. <laughs> oh shit. Now, you're the prey. <laughs> Come on, go down already. Harry. Yeah, you ain't worth shit, boy. The pressure is off. All right, final spin to win. And die. Oh, you're not done yet. Yeah. After all, somewhere in the Valley Twins transfer station escape route. Get them! Don't let them escape. Avenge the boss. Oh fuck! Did we just straight up kill him? These guys. Damn. So persistent. <laughs> Are they really that hungry for revenge? You're underestimating Razor's influence. Go around! Go around! There's only one exit, Fisher. We'll cut him off. We finally made it. Uh. Oh damn! I'm so scared. <laughs> As if I had beaten all you guys I up already. I thought you dare to take out Razor. 
I'm I guessing he is dead. There was something off about you right from the... Uh. <sighs> yeah, yeah, all right already. We're about to fight, so save your breath. <laughs> no more big baddie talk. <laughs> you think you're the big boss man now that Razor isn't around anymore? <laughs> Still acting smug even though it's the end now, huh? You'll regret hurting the boss. It. All you talk about is the boss and follow him around like a little lap dog. Yeah, mountain lion's my what ass. What did you like about him anyway? <laughs> How loud he got when he was cussing you out? You went to that. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> I oh my god, this face. I show you any kindness, yet <laughs> you still liked him. Uh, damn. Smash. Next question. Don't tell me you see him as a father figure. Uh, Jane, I think that's enough. Enough roasting yeah. already. Even the pub sec officer thinks you're pathetic. <laughs> the big bad daddy who cussed you out every day is gone. And yet you still miss him. What are you? A bunch of daddy's boys. <laughs> daddy's boys? Damn. <laughs> Hang on. I did not say that. <laughs> I said shut up. You, you traitor! I'm gonna make you pay! We cubs of the mountain lions will- Well? Uh, actually, cubs isn't completely accurate. Uh, I certainly didn't think of Razor as a father figure. You shut up! <laughs> no! It's just a metaphor, get it? <laughs> Don't let that sewer rat toy with you anymore! We've got them surrounded! Get them! Uh. Oh, oh, what's going on? Was that coming from the fissure? Oh, it's, oh. it's pop sack, isn't it? You have the right to remain silent. Remain silent, yeah. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Hands in the air. You finally caught up. <laughs> Captain Zhou Yuan, Jingyi, everyone. <laughs> and you, you're that guard kid. You're still alive? How? You're surrounded. Lay down your weapons and surrender. You're done for. And that's it for the man dying game. <laughs> like, I swear, that guy was about to take out all of his own men before he, he even get the chance to fight me. <laughs> oh, and that's that. Several days later, outside the meeting room at the Luminous Square Precinct of Neps. <sighs> Wait, you yawn at work too, Chingy? Aren't you an automaton? Yes, but that's irrelevant. <laughs> Exhaustion is a state of mind, not the body. Right on fucking time, or, yeah. <laughs> to put it another way, yawning is like the soul burping from eating too much boredom. Plus, yawns are contagious. No way! There's no way I'll yawn before the captain gets out of the commendation meeting. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, dang it. <laughs> you should listen to your elders. Anyway, I'm bored right now, so could you do that thing again, Seth? <laughs> what? No, I don't want to. Don't be shy. Here, I'll help you start. <clears throat> Do what thing? Captain, please listen to me. <laughs> I'm with a mountain lion bodyguard called Jane. I'm supposed to arrest her, but I persuaded her to turn over a new leaf. <laughs> I'll bet my reputation that she can change. Captain, please. <laughs> she, really, she really said all that? <laughs> Come on, Chingy. Enough already. <laughs> and then Zhu Yuan replies. Uh, yeah. Seth, let me introduce you. <laughs> this is Jane Doe, a criminal behavioral expert who's been working with us for a long time now. Yeah, she's acting on her side this whole time. She's the operation <laughs> as an informant. I'm sorry that the situation was a bit complicated this time. I'll tell you more details later. Captain, is the meeting over? <laughs> how can you remember everything so perfectly? Oh, how could I forget? Especially with your funny expression at the time, Seth. <laughs> but don't be upset. It's thanks to you and Jane that we could finally wrap up this whole operation. You can be happy about that. Yeah, maybe it's for the best that you got captured, you know? <laughs> Ever think about that? Because otherwise I would have had to, like, face uh, Razor 1v1. Actually, we know, Seth was the whole reason that the duel happened in the first place, but still, whatever. <laughs> also, that ends well. What about Jane? Why isn't she here for the secret commendation? Apparently, there's a new case that requires her as a consultant, and she's already set out to make preparations. Already? She said she needed to go repay a favor first. Damn. Okay. Meanwhile, random play video store on 6th Street, Janice Quarter. 
Oh, we're crooked. turning the video, right? Um, I think a little to the left. No, no, try a little to the right. Well, we've been over this three times already. Just give me an accurate answer so I can hang up this business license. <laughs> and if you can't tell, then ask Fairy to help you. Come on, bro. How can you say that? I'm totally serious in watching you hang it, aren't I? Fine. So is it still crooked now, or...? Mm, a little more to the left? Ah, uh, a little to the right. <laughs> what a hassle. Which one is it? <laughs> a real hassle, huh? But the smile on your face is lighting up the room. Huh? You're... You're the rat Thyron who rented the poor peak last time. <laughs> Glad you remember me. Am I interrupting something important here? Not at all. I was just getting back at my brother for always making me eat noodles whenever we go out shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it is. You can come down now, Mr. Manager. It's hanging perfectly straight now. You got it. This pose, I'm I'm loving this pose for, for, from Jane right now. Well, thanks for rescuing me there. Are you here to return the videotape? That's right. I brought back your copy of the Port Peak. Here you go. Got it. Hmm. Well, the tape doesn't seem damaged at all. Great. I'll just get your deposit back for you. One second. So how was it? Is your friend hooked on it now? Uh... Huh? <laughs> My friend? Who do you mean? Huh? Last time, didn't you say that you were renting it out for a friend? <laughs> you said that he pretends to be brave, but is actually a wimp. Just like my bro here. Oh, god damn. Come on. Damn, why, why is this getting all the fucking shots right now? Like, come on. Like, give the dude a break. Also, yeah, my friend, yeah, he's in jail now. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> ah, right. I guess I did say that. Sorry, my memory isn't the best. I even forgot what my friend said about the movie. <laughs> to compensate, let me register for your highest tier membership. God, all our poses and are so I'll fucking adorable. Your highest value gift card. Plus, I'll be sure to recommend your store to all my friends. Okay? Oh, no, no worries at all. I'm always the one who forgets things. But let me get that membership card for you right now. Thanks for your patronage. Your gift card is ready. May I ask your name for the account? You can call me Jane. Jane Doe. <laughs> Which I'm still questioning, is that even her real name? Because Jane Doe is supposed to be like a proxy name they use for like a dead body, right? Same with John Doe for like a male dead body. Oh, <laughs> and now the, all the stories left to do now is just to take a break. Man, though, was this quest fun. Damn. <laughs> Uh, let's update it. We gotta do some chopping. We met a new friend called Jane. What a day. Oh, yeah, he's supposed to see you don't want noodles every time, do you, Belle? We can pick wherever we eat the next time. It's dark already. We should get some rest. Night, Belle. Man, this story was fun. I, I loved it, honestly. <laughs> I'm assuming we're also gonna get um Razor as like a new boss now, from now on. Probably. Now I wonder what Jane C6 looks like. Oh, you got me fucking curious. I'm almost tempted to look up leaks just to see what it is. Hmm. Uh, Mountain Lion Gang got taken down. Just got a tip off a of reliable source. MSN has not caught on this yet, but yeah. I'm, Mountain Lion Gang's no more. Razor is fucking deceased. At least that's what I, I think. <laughs> they didn't explicitly say if he's dead or not, but I'm gonna assume, considering we, they said we took him out. The fallen Mountain Lions were said to be a brutal yet cunning gang. This has caused a lot of harm to the uh, do the citizens. Do the citizens? Okay. Whatever intern you have there, Hoyo, please get their shit together. Um, uh, this many typo should not be allowed. Just saying. This tough syndicate got taken by, uh, taken out by public security. Despite a different position of view, those officers exact their own standards of justice in their own way. Even though we don't know who the hero of that day was, I'm sure they did. <laughs> so, out of the goodness of their heart, yeah, I'm sure they did. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Maybe we met him at some point. <laughs> you fall asleep without realizing, probably because you're exhausted. Fading to black. Mission completed. Things are quiet again. I should keep raising our internet level. Witness a professional undercover agent's closing acts. 
And yep, that will conclude it for the story of, uh, yeah, this, <laughs> the Jane Doe story for this quest. Damn, it was really good. Yeah, this is their first update, by the way. They're fucking killing it so far with Zenless. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, 20 days, right? 20 days is when Jane Doe's banner comes out. Uh, can, uh, can I get a time machine around here? <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. I want Jane Doe so badly. Her she's so fun to play. Uh, this is gonna be the longest 20 days of my life. Ah, uh, damn.